I'm delighted to say we're joined by Swift's Global Head of Corporate Affairs, Jonathan Cox. Jonathan, welcome. We are back in the Asia-Pacific region in the beautiful Beijing. Um, and really, it's the first time that we're, we're in Beijing for the conference. How's it going so far and what can we expect? Well, we are super excited to be here. The sun is shining. The energy is rising down on the exhibition floor. So it's just fantastic. And you know, when you think about Beijing, it's the heart of the world's second largest economy, uh, which is also the largest trading partner, the top trading partner for most of the world's countries. So it has a really uh, instrumental role to play uh, in cross-border trade and cross-border payments. And actually, that spirit of innovation goes back about a thousand years. I was doing some research and found that it was actually China that invented uh, paper currency about a thousand years ago. And that spirit of innovation is strong here in China. It's strong across at the Asia Pacific region, region, and of course, it's strong across our entire industry. And that is certainly on offer here at the event this week. Jonathan, it's great to have you back on Cybos TV. Your presence is always a highlight for us, but the content is, of course, always a highlight for the delegates. So tell us uh, what we're looking forward to hearing about here in Beijing. Well, if you are interested in it, in it you will find it on the Cybos uh, program. Everything from AI to quantum to uh, uh, ISO 20022, which is going to be a huge theme this week. The industry has a, one more year to make the migration to this rich data standard. So it's going to be on the standards forum. It's going to be on the main stage. It's going to be uh, on the SWIFT program. So lots and lots to hear about that. But when you think about connecting the future of finance, it's not just about what we do in the industry, but the role the industry can play on bigger macro issues like sustainability, on climate change, on in, 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 uh, moving forward and inclusive financial ecosystem. So those are also topics that we will see on the agenda this week. That is a really great point. And on that note, I want to pick up on the issue of sustainability. I mean, you look around, the delegates are obviously, you know, really keen to pursue the issues of finance, but also on these macro issues. What can we expect on that front, the sustainability front from Cybos? It's a huge focus for us. Uh, if you look at how we set up the event, we really focus on how we make sure that not only Cybos as an event, but all of our exhibitors focus on sustainability. So you'll see lots of recycled materials uh, across the venue. We limit the use of plastic. And we actually really encourage our delegates to join us in this commitment. So we have a pledge that our delegates can sign up to on the app to uh, commit to helping us ensure that we have the most sustainable event uh, we possibly can. And actually from a Cybos event perspective this year, we're setting a baseline so that we can measure our improvement every year we come back to, to Asia. So we will in continue to incrementally get better uh, each year. Now, Cybus is known for its thought-provoking content such as that, but also about making those global connections. So tell us what networking events are on offer this year. Well, absolutely. And honestly, uh, at Cybus, you can connect with people throughout the day from 6 a.m. on Wednesday at, with the 5K uh, walk and run all the way to the evening receptions, which are across uh, the week. And this year, what's new, we have a new connections lounge. So our delegates can go on the app and they can uh, find a time to meet in the Connections Lounge with other people that they may, may not have met before. So it's a new feature we've added because, as you say, Johnny, it's all about connection here at, at Cybos as we look to connect the future of finance. Well, no doubt you have a lot of connecting to do. So, Jonathan Cox, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And thank you for kicking off the show with us. Thank you. All right. That was Jonathan Cox.